Why would she have a gray hair? What? Inch and a half left of your pack. Oh, my God, you're right. You know, I don't mind so much that you're aging. It's just the way you're shoving it down my throat. Screw you, Peter. Not today. <laughs> oh, wow. Mom, Dad, is it okay if I invite my new boyfriend over for dinner tonight? Yeah, what? Yes, I share your mother's skepticism. No, really, I have a boyfriend. His name is Anthony. Well, Meg, if you're telling us the truth, I just hope to God he's an improvement over the last one. Thanks, Mrs. Griffin. That was delicious. You're welcome, Justin. It was a pleasure to meet you. Come on, I'll take you home. Okay, babe. He ain't got no legs. Lois, get in here! Shh. Meg's boyfriend. But there's... there's nothing wrong with him. Mom, where's my... Shh. <gasps> Quagmire, get over here. You gotta see this. He seems to be completely normal. Oh. I can honestly say for the first time that I am attracted to our daughter. This must be what other fathers feel like. This was worth the 500-mile drive. Well, it was very nice meeting you, Anthony. You too, Mrs. Griffin. Thanks for having me over for dinner. Uh, come on, Peter. I think Anthony wants some time alone with Meg. Who doesn't want some time alone with Meg these days? Right, Meg? Has anybody ever told you you're pretty enough to be a movie star, Mrs. Griffin? Oh, my goodness. Well, I don't know about that. Penelope Ann Miller and Nancy Travis. Now, those are movie stars. Look, Anthony, trust me. She ain't what she used to be, all right? Once you get those pants off, it's like two sagging pressed hams and a slice of pizza. Oh, thank you, Peter. That makes me feel terrific. Anyway, good night, kids. Good night, Mom. Good night, Dad. Ah, 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 ah. On the lips. Yes. Do you think your parents liked me? Yeah. Can we make out now? Oh, I forgot my... <laughs> oh, my God. That's kind of hot. Mmm, I bet you taste like Mountain Dew and Starburst. Thanks for taking time for me today, Bonnie. I just didn't know who else to talk to. Oh, that's okay, Lois. What's on your mind? Well, you're gonna think I'm an awful person, but I'm attracted to another man. Giggity? It's Meg's boyfriend, Anthony. Giggity. But it's just that lately Peter's been making me feel so crappy about my age, and, well, then I'm around Anthony, and he looks at me like I'm young and attractive. I'm gonna tell you a secret, Lois. I had an affair once. <gasps> You had an affair? Mm-hmm. It wasn't anything sordid. Just some guys I met on the internet. The point is, it's healthy to explore your sexuality. Oh, I don't know. It just feels like I'm lying to Peter. Like Jesus lied to the meek. All right! Jesus and the jocks win again! Hey, you said we were gonna inherit the Earth. Yeah, when we're done with it. Hi, Anthony. Hi, Mrs. Griffin. You know, we've enjoyed having you around so much lately, so we got a little welcome to the family present for you. Your husband's work and poker game schedule? My menstrual cycle's on there, too, but I don't mind if you don't. Uh, thanks. Oh, by the way, Meg, I forgot to tell you, your grandfather needs you to pick him up at the airport. Oh, Grandpa always makes me so nervous when I'm driving. Okay, now me. That's a stop sign! Anthony, you want to come with me? Sure. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I'll keep him company till you get back. Goodbye, Meg. Let's not play games. The other day you said I was attractive. Now what are we going to do about it? Oh my god, wow. This is so cool. I've never had a MILF come on to me before. Can I... can I kiss you? Let me ask you this. Do my gray hairs bother you? What gray hairs? Ah, uh, kiss me! Mm, mm, mm. Mom, I forgot my keys. Do you know where...